down with TTT. May Day is here, month five. Gonna have to crank up the intensity. I'm feeling much stronger. I still got a lot of soft spots. I like to take some weight down, but I'm adding a lot of muscle density. The muscle's really heavy, so I'm not too concerned about the scales alone. This thing is getting rock hard. I have a yin put the traditional boxing gloves on and hit it. you know flexed flexed on the ass so yeah this one's gonna get really intense guys hope you enjoy the videos thanks for watching let's get in shape
<laughs> it's a little easier with your eyes open. Let the force be with you. All right, guys. Yeah. Five months in. Five months into the year. I love May. One of my favorite times of the year. I've got a daughter and a granddaughter born on the exact same day in May, which is kind of cool mother daughter birthday uh, one of my favorite months back in america we begin our family tradition of camping go to the quarry engineer lakes stuff like that as a big group family and friends and and stay two or three nights you know out in nature and stargaze every night and do some good fishing and all that stuff so a lot of campfire cooking and all that so anyway i hope you're still motivated with your 2023 resolution that we all agreed we were going to do back in uh, January, January the 1st, 2023. We kind of had quite a few people chime in and say, yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do something too. It's got to be every day. It's got to be consistent. You know, it's going to be days where we're all a little sick and, uh, you know, whatever. I have high pain level days. Some days I don't get that good a workout in and some days I just have to force myself. And then once I get my workout, you know, get in the shower and everything, I feel rejuvenated feel better about going to take care of the day's business. So uh, I like to be consistent. Hope you are too, follow along. Like I say, I'm not losing an incredible amount of weight or anything, but definitely getting a lot harder core, a lot more solid. Uh, my feet are not very nimble and my balance is not good. So I had a couple of comments. Next thing we know, we're gonna see you running up and down the stairs, you know, doing the Rocky dance. I won't be running up and down these stairs, guys. I can't, I can't cure that part, right? The uh, 
nervous system, your electrical system is way too slow a signal from the brain to the foot, especially all the way the toes that you need for running, sprinting. I'll be lucky if I can do some fast paced walking for any length of time, right? So that's why I chose low impact, but hopefully with a consistent determination long term, it'll have tremendous effects like in high impact, you know, runners, sprinters routine. So anyway, we all have our impairments, things that we just can't do. And one of mine is running. I used to be a long distance runner. I never fell out of a run when I was in the U.S. Army and uh, mastered all PT when I was in boot camp, you know. So uh, I was a long distance runner, but, you know, I got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease back in 2012 and it changed my life. And that's why I'm here in Thailand. Uh, that's the ultimate reason that I came here on a one-way ticket alone back in 2015 and here it is 2023 and been in Thailand eight years and couldn't be happier but you know you get bored I like retirement life I like to just wake up every day and make my schedule up as I go along but you get bored you know so I think it's important most of my friends have some kind of a routine they get up in the morning go for a walk come back to house have breakfast whatever go in the afternoon go to the gym uh, maybe go to the swimming pool right so when you're retired as an expat you're not actually working a lot of guys do work over here and i was busy for six years of the eight that i've been in thailand you know teaching english for four years that kept me busy and then owning a business for two years to enter pandemic that kept me busy right so and building the the bar and everything that you guys that follow the channel know know what happened there but so basically i'm ready to you know not have a job i need to go to every day but Having said that, when you are fully retired, where you can just take off and take a trip anywhere you want, do, do whatever you want to do, right? All we have to do is to make arrangements for our animals and we can go do anything. We, we don't have a schedule. We're fully retired in that sense. But once you get to that point, really I think it's important to have really good routines. You know, maybe your routine is you like to go play cards, you know, with a group of people every Thursday or what, you know what I mean? It's just gotta have something and uh to me because i came back from the united states having not traveled for three years due to the health precautions came back in 2022 from a good visit with my daughters and friends and family grandchildren all that five weeks in the states and came back and was in horrible horrible physical shape my pain levels were out of this roof i had to go through physical therapy for four months and i just told myself i've got to change I gotta change my daily routine, you know. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's May. It's five months in. I like to think that I have really been determined in increasing my skill level and uh, up the intensity even more. Here we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Love to everyone.